let us come back and see the last set of reactions of your BDC. T till now, we have learned different reactions. San Mays reactions, Gatterman reaction. We've also seen <clears throat> what's going to happen, like uh, how are you converting BDC into your acid group, amine group. Please watch all the videos in the sequence and note it in two, two or three pages, depending on your handwriting. Now, uh, the main reason for me doing all sets together is more than that, you'll not be asked in that particular question. So now, last set of reactions. Now, what happens now if I have to take this BDC, right? I've taken this BDC. Now, I'm going to introduce or just show you three important conditions. What are they? Here, I'm going to take BDC and introduce a reducing agent. So we are going to write reactions involving reducing agents. So what are the reaction, reducing agents which I'm going to use in the exam? If you see AR into Cl or AR into Cl like this and if they uh, ask you or show you and they, this particular thing. What is this? Hypophosphorus acid. H3PO2 is hypophosphorus acid and even water also in terms of water. So when you're adding hypophosphorus uh, acid, what is the role? H3PO2 is a reducing agent. So what does it do? It helps in reduction and itself gets oxidized, isn't it? That is what is the condition. Reducing agent, it helps in reduction, but itself gets oxidized. Yes, this is your concept. Now H3PO2, when you add it, first important thing, whenever you're heating BDC, just remember <coughs> nitrogen gas escapes out. That is the most important thing. This is done. After that, your H3PO2 gets oxidized to a higher oxidation state from PO2 to it gets oxidized to H3PO3 phosphorus acid. Hypophosphorus acid. This is phosphorus acid. Let us write the name. Phosphorus acid. Oxidized or no? To higher O2 to O3. Done. Still not complete. You still have Cl. One, uh, there is H and OH, isn't it? One H from here takes out this Cl and HCl comes out. Now, what is left out? This is lost. Cl is lost from here and this bond shifts into your benzene ring, forms your arene. That is your H, arene. So, BDC to arene. So, if you are not writing like this, you can write directly ARH. Done. So, this is your role of your reducing agent. Let us take one more reducing agent. What is one more reducing agent? I am taking ethanol. Ethanol also is a reducing agent. So, let us write CH3CH2OH is a reducing agent. H3PO2 is a reducing agent. Both will help in reduction and themselves get oxidized. So, when I am taking this ethanol, same story, whenever you are heating, first important thing, nitrogen gas escapes out. Done. <coughs> After that, your uh, hydrolysis, okay, if I take this hydrolysis, that HCl also escapes out. Next important thing, your this is your ethanol, isn't it? Alcohols in oxidation, what will happen? They will get converted to aldehydes. How? Alcohols on oxidation, yes. <coughs> loss of hydrogen this hydrogen is lost on oxidation what am i left with i'm left with ch3 cho so you very well know alcohols on oxidation forms aldehydes this will further oxidation gets acids okay not a problem so this ethanol gets converted to cho this is getting oxidized see here now, after this this is over there is one more hydrogen existing that comes out as HCl I said. <coughs> this is lost. This is lost. This got converted. What are we left with? We are left with ARH. That's it. Arene. Simple. Yeah. So, most important reactions. Please practice it. Nothing. Reducing agent will get reduced to higher, uh, sorry, oxidized to higher oxidation state. Aldehydes will get oxidized to, alde uh, alcohols will get oxidized to aldehydes. The leftover products are the same. N2 will escape. HCl is out. Yeah. Now, the same BDC, if I have, I'm going to do or, or boil it, okay. What am I going to do? I'm going to take that temperature almost 2 to 283 Kelvin or something. If I take the temperature 283 Kelvin, when I have to add water to this, simple. You're boiling it, isn't it? When you're boiling it, first important thing is your nitrogen gas escapes out. 
your chlorine is replaced by this OH and your HCl is out and this OH goes and occupies its position giving me phenol so this is one of your conversions what did they ask you uh, simple uh, water uh, BDC water you are hydrolyzing it at when you are raising the temperature to the 283 Kelvin and when you are boiling it immediately nitrogen gas escapes out done your Cl comes out with this HCl and your OH replaces that and gets phenol this is your phenol this is your arene this also is your arene your benzene ring rather this is your aldehyde Please remember reactions with reducing agents, very very important reaction.